excretion. The biological process involved in the removal of harmful metabolic wastes from the body is called excretion. As in other processes like nutrition, respiration, transportation, different organisms use different strategies to do excretion. In case of unicellular organisms, wastes are removed from body surface into the surrounding water by the process called diffusion. But in case of multicellular organisms, specialized organs are evolved to perform excretion. Excretion in human beings. The chief organ that is involved in excretion is kidneys. The excretory system of human beings consists of 1. A pair of kidneys, right kidney and left kidney. 2. A pair of ureters, right ureter and left ureter. 3. A urinary bladder. 4. A urethra. Kidneys are located in the abdomen on either side of the backbone. Kidney is a basic filtration unit. It consists of very thin wall blood capillaries. Each capillary cluster is associated with cup-shaped end of a tube that collects filtered urine. Each kidney has large number of filtration units called nephrons packed close together. The waste products are nitrogenous wastes that are collected from the blood in the form of urine. The produced urine passes through ureters into urinary bladder. The urine is stored in the urinary bladder and the urine is released to outside through urethra. Now let us learn how urine is produced. The process of urine formation takes place in three steps. 1. Filtration 2. Reabsorption 3. Secretion Filtration The nitrogenous wastes such as urea, uric acid are removed from blood in the kidneys. The process of urine formation takes place in nephron. Reabsorption Some substances like glucose, amino acids, salts and major water which are filtered along with nitrogenous waste are reabsorbed. The amount of water reabsorbed depends on excess water and dissolved waste along with wastes. Secretion Reabsorbed components of wastes are secreted into the blood when the urine flows through the tubular part of nephron in the kidney. Mechanism of urination The urine formed in kidney enters into a lung tube called ureter. The one end of the ureter is connected to kidney and the other end is connected to urinary bladder. Urine is stored in the urinary bladder until the pressure of urinary bladder leads to urge to pass urine. When it reaches the pressure to urge to pass it, urine passes out through urethra. How can we hold urine until it reaches to the urge to pass urine? As the urinary bladder is muscular and it is under the control of nervous system, we can usually control to urge to urinate. The process of passing out urine is called as urination.